Hello everyone, it's Rose, I'm back. I wanted to do a little standalone video on Foodie Beauty, and this is gonna be very brief. It's not gonna be an hour long, it doesn't have to be an hour long, but I would like to give some further words about Foodie Beauty and her newest escapades. So I just did a react to her, my first hijab uh, video. I gave my thoughts on it and I want to do a standalone video in case everyone on my channel, you don't watch the whole thing. So not only is Foodie right now being incredibly offensive, wearing a hijab when you sh she shouldn't be, and she's doing it during the month of October, which is Halloween and treating that hijab as a costume. Uh, she is essentially gaslighting everyone. And it's something that she's done before not just today, but many times before. I would like to have a little discussion about Foodie and how she makes money on YouTube. Because where other people on YouTube, they have their channels, they do their content, they do live streams, and when they get super chats or membership signups, it's for positive reason. Foodie has turned the game on its head. She goes the other way. She doesn't want positive energy. She doesn't want positive content. She doesn't even want positive super chats. She wants hate super chats. You know, where a lot of reactors and a lot of people on YouTube, they're all about making content that makes people happy. Foodie makes a tremendous amount of money going backwards, using hate and negativity to get people so gassed up and so angry that they send the super chats because they cannot scream physically in her face. So let me just bring up the other screen because there's a couple of things that I would like to show everyone. All right, there's a couple of things that I pulled up. Okay, so there is her newest live stream, right? My first hijab, it was published just a few hours ago and already she's at 8,000 views. So why am I, Pointing that out, well, let me just show you something. So she just published this three hours ago, okay? And this was the stream that she did with Pete's over here. Two days ago, 8.9K views. So she did an ordinary stream with Pete's, got 8.9K views. And this was published three hours ago, and she's almost at that number. So you can see why Foodie likes to be controversial, likes to be hateful, likes to rage, because when she rages, when she gets angry, when she makes people angry, uh, it makes her more money. So let's go over here to this right here. This is Playboard, and this tracks all YouTubers and what they make as far as super chats and revenue and so forth. So. These last few days that Foodie has been raging, let's see, on the 4th, she made $65, 117, 73, 183. These were all the days she was raging. And then look down here, look down here, look how the number drops when she's not raging. I feel that's the reason why she has been raging lately because Foodie pays attention to her numbers, okay? It's a, it's a big difference between what's up here and what's down here. Look, look at how the Super Chats changed. $11, $39, $61. Okay, and Playboard is not a private site. Anybody could access it. You go to playboard.co. You can look up anybody's name and they'll tell you how many Super Chats they got per live stream. So, you know, she when she rages, she gets quite a lot more when she makes people angry when she doesn't look how the money drops so let's go back over here because we i want to talk about this live stream for a minute so foodie needs money she's supposed to be moving although i don't know if that's going to happen but foodie has turned the game on its head and this live stream is a prime example okay she coming on camera dressed in a hijab and she knows she shouldn't be wearing that. It's very offensive to the Muslim people, very offensive to the Muslim culture. She's not converted uh, as a Muslim, therefore she should not be wearing the hijab. 
But she knew coming on camera dressed like that, it was going to make people angry. It was going to get people talking. And so what this is, everybody, is just a setup. She is setting everybody up to be so incredibly angry that the next live stream she does, she's going to get a ton of hate super chats and a lot of views. That's what this is, a setup to make more money for her. So I come on camera, dress in a hijab, get people angry, get people talking, and notice the comments are turned off. That's deliberate also. You know, she doesn't want people to make their comments for free. She wants you to pay to express your anger. So let's do a video to piss everybody off, turn off the comments, and that way, if you got something to say, the only way you're going to be able to talk to her is during a live stream and you send a super chat or you're a VIB. Either way, you're paying. You know, she's got all comments behind a paywall. So this is the setup. D do this really offensive uh, video. Make it very short and brief. Turn the comments off. The next live stream, trust me, the super chats are going to come rolling in. And not because she's doing anything good, because she's doing something bad and people are angry and they want to express their anger. And all I got to say to that is for anyone who is really, really angry at Foodie, I understand your anger. What she's doing is very offensive. But let's all remember something that our parents taught us when we were young. Remember what our, our parents taught us? Don't reward bad behavior. That's the worst thing you can do. Don't reward bad behavior. Because what happens when that happens? Whoever's doing the bad behavior, they are encouraged to do more bad behavior. And if Foodie is doing something as offensive as this, and she profits handsomely off of it, she's going to keep going. It's going to prompt her to be more offensive and more rude and more disrespectful. And talk about things and profit off of things that really should not be profited off of. I understand the anger of Foodie, I get it, but don't let the anger control you. Don't let it overtake your brain because whatever you have to say to Foodie, no matter how well you say it, understand this, she doesn't care what you say. No matter how you say it, she will not care. You can yell and scream at her all day long. Whatever you have to say, it doesn't matter. She's still going to be as rotten and evil as she wants to be. And she's going to be smiling inside of her head because she's making money off her anger. There's nothing that anyone can say to Foodie that can affect her or change her into a better person. She's made a business out of being the most hateful offensive person on YouTube, the most, most controversial person on YouTube. People watch her. She purposely gaslights people, pokes at people to give her money, like she's doing right now, doing this 10-minute video, making sure to turn off the comments so nobody can say what they want to say for free. The next live stream, you want to say something to her, you got to pay. One way or the other, you got to pay. So understand that this is, this is gaslighting at its finest. She's setting everybody up to be so angry that she makes a lot of money with the next few live streams. I just want to make everyone aware of that and also just to urge everyone that don't get so angry that your anger controls you. Just sit back and think that, that you know, she's trying to lead you into giving her money and you know trying to make people so blinded by anger that they just they just react out of anger she's setting everyone up to try to get more money that's all this is this whole live stream it wasn't about her changing it wasn't about her wanting to be a better person this is her just setting things up for the next few live streams where she'll make a lot of money because people she's going to get people so offended and so angry that they send super chats. It's all this is. It's just a money grab. That's all this is. The money grab. So that's all I want to say.
Uh, what are your thoughts? You guys can leave thoughts for me. I'm just going to go ahead and post this up. Y'all take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.